so what I wanted to add to the demonic possession, right? So something always keeps you from living life. Something is always coming up for you. Um, or maybe it's addiction to the narcissistic partner, your parents, uh, food, um, alcohol, you know, and you really want to get rid of it, but it doesn't work because something keeps you there. And that a lot of times are spirits. And those spirits, um, they don't want you to succeed. They don't want you to live life. You are always kept from being able to make money, to find a job, to find a partner. To So life is never flowing, right? Because something always keeps you down and like wants to really sit on your chest and make you feel paralyzed. And for whatever reason, sometimes these entities are souls from past lives or just a demon who attached to you because you are of light and you are here to raise the planet's consciousness or to help heal others. Sometimes it's people who are angry at you. Sometimes it's people's energy from like, you know, when you can't get over a partner or you're still feeling anxious about your narcissistic ex. Um, that can still be a spirit attached to your being um, and you do so much to heal but it doesn't work right and then sometimes they uh, they can even attack you um, or like they always whisper you have like you know you have an angel on your shoulder because everyone has angels and guides and intuition as well and you have that other voice that always keeps you trying to make you go down the darker path, the darker alley to bring you in danger and your intuition is that angel that tells you no don't go and your spirit and the darker spirit and maybe also like parts of yourself that doesn't feel worthy but a lot of times unworthiness is also spirit detachment that spirit that always keeps telling you go this way where it's darker also is maybe accompanied by some feelings of self-doubt or the feelings of I have to heal those around me that's why I cannot leave right that's why I cannot leave the narcissist the toxic partner because I am here to heal them and rescue them as well I have a duty I have a responsibility I'm not allowed to just walk away That's trauma. When you feel like you're not allowed to just leave something um, behind or someone because you feel responsible. You're not ever responsible for a grown up person. That's not family. And even family. Like if family is shitty, you're not responsible for them. You're responsible for loving parents who want you to live a happy life right but you're not responsible for those who just uh, dump their shit onto you and leave you training and exhausted and tired and don't support your shining don't support your light don't support who you are but just always want from you and expect from you to praise them to worship them that's narcissism and that is um, someone said like Humans weren't meant to be worshipped because humans are humans. Humans are not God. And humans don't grow and humans don't heal and humans don't thrive under being worshipped. The smart, wise, conscious, aware people of light, they never like to be worshipped. That's why those wise, aware, conscious people are also don't fall in, don't fall for love bombing of the narcissist the narcissist needs to love bomb because they don't have any other tactic they don't have any other thing to offer to you um, 
to give to you. They don't have character, they don't have personality, they don't have love, so they have to love bomb you and expect you to be like, oh yeah, that's amazing, feels so good to be um, lured into some vicious, um, hypothetical lies, or <laughs> like some vicious, I don't know, lies or some clouds, some, some pink clouds that are without actual consistency, right? It's just a, it's a bombing because they want you to trust them so they can use and manipulate you and control you. They want you to trust them because they, then they can use you. First they love bomb you, then they use the, you for their purposes. And then they... Um, manipulate you. And then if you are also... If you become aware of it, they just drop you. drop you. <laughs> Did you see my face? Asshole. <laughs> yeah, I wish I made different choices in my past. Because narcissists are vicious and dangerous. You should never trust them. And you should never stay longer than necessary in such a toxic environment. And don't ask. It's like it's like when you, you know, before I, before I left that really toxic house I was talking about earlier. Jesus. Before I left, I would ask, you know, do you think it's okay if I move out? I was, like, my gut, like, I was co in constant anxiety and in constant, like, my soul gets stolen mode. I'm dying in here. And I still was asking people if I can move out. The first thing when toxic narcissistic people get into your environment is, and I'm not even kidding, but pack your things and leave. Because you can never win. And I know like maybe you're in a, I mean, maybe it's different with work, but honestly, like you cannot because we are always affected by other humans. We cannot be happy s surrounded by narcissistic people, especially if you're an empath, you cannot win with them. You can, I mean, you can set clear boundaries and be like, okay, we're working here, that's it, right? I'm not your friend, I'm not your tool, you cannot manipulate me, I'm not your, I'm not your worker. You know, I'm not your flying monkey you can use on other people. Go gossip somewhere else. Clear boundaries. I mean, if it's... But, like, it depends. Because if it would be a boss or someone who would always be in my space, I would pack my things and leave. The first sign they give me of toxicity and narcissism, I would pack my things and leave. Because, like, if your surrounding is not really aware and conscious they will use other people and other people are just sheeple right if they don't have their own brain and mind they use other people to manipulate you and if they do that you are all of a sudden you don't know what happened but all of a sudden you're in this crazy mess shithole where everyone starts for some reason be triggered or like irritated by you and um, or try like if that narcissist is manipulating <laughs> wait a second if that narcissist is manipulating and uses other people against you um, they and, and your your co-workers are not really conscious and aware 
they will start to become flying monkeys and you and work your workplace the ones were so fine and everything becomes living hell especially if your boss is a narcissist oh jesus christ so i would always recommend honestly to pack my things and go i know we think they win but it's it, it's not about winning here it's with a narcissist it's always about health and if they are a sociopath it's always about your life that's how it is my friends your life is threatened uh, by someone who is a narcissist and a sociopath and toxic that's something to remember bye